And knowing a secret like that can really be the difference between having a good time and having a bad time being tunneled. If you know a secret like how to run freezer back and forth, you can quite literally be getting tunneled and think it's funny, or even better, not even notice that you're getting tunneled. But this is why map knowledge is your strongest possible weapon in DBD. Read it. <laughs> I'm gonna read it again. <laughs> Damn. I should have just hard greeted it. Oh god. Oh. I'm kind of fucked here. I don't think I make it. Damn it! He respected that pallet. I got ungabungud. I'm gonna get hit here. Oh, I'm definitely getting hit here now. Although she saved me. Although I'm in prime ungabunga territory here. This is the place to get ungabungud. Can I make it? I can and I will! Mm, yes! <laughs> I tried to mind game. Swing again, please. Yes. Damn. <laughs> I should have juked it. And you're just like, what do I do here? This pallet over here is up still. Hmm. Interesting. I do. I don't think I make this. Yes, I do. No, I don't. I was very close. And the lusty blood is what I have to be worried about.
Open door. Yes. <laughs> GG All right, Gideon Pallet Plant the map that loops itself. So this is a very, very strong map against M1 killers, but a very, very weak map against pretty much all projectile killers. Nurse, I mean, most maps suck against Nurse, but this, I think, is Nurse's strongest map. I, at the time of filming this video, am the world number two nemesis, and I'm telling you straight up, this is Nemesis's best map because none of these loops are good against him. He can just slap you over it with the whip. So even though this is a very strong palette against, say, a ghost face or a pig, against a nemesis, this is a terrible palette because he can just slap you over that to put that even further i have over 50 games highlighted for this particular guide and i do not have a single good highlight against a nemesis so i do think this is nemesis's best map that being said there's a lot of stuff you can do against pretty much every m1 killer and even some other ones like demo is weak to a lot of stuff here but let's get right into it so once you know how to loop this map it basically loops itself because of how strong a lot of these pallets are and how unmind gameable they are to the point point where you can literally be getting tunneled and not only be on auto drive where you're just looping them without even really realizing what's going on but you can not even realize you're getting tunneled because the map pretty much loops itself so easily and you can do it without putting any thought into it once you know where everything is and that's the point of making this guide I want everybody else to start having fun when getting tunneled as well it is hilarious and might as well enjoy getting tunneled because you looped them hard enough because I promise you when you get tunneled because you loop someone hard enough it is funny and then we can all just get over getting tunneled all the time and we can just point a finger at it and laugh i do want to start at the entrances so i'll start with the bad entrance first all right so i call this one the bad entrance because the only time you're ever going to get value out of this particular tile is if it's the end game and you're trying to make it away and it's most oh. of the time might even be better to greet it because the killer would go around anyway so just to get out otherwise you were pretty much going to get hit not all the time i've gotten value out of this very seldom ballot to ballot <laughs> So if you're at this front loop, you want to stand right here because this way you can see the tip of your screen. You can see if the killer's going that way. You can also see if it's a taller killer, you can stand right here to see because you can always see him coming around that way, you know, and you can see him over the front shield. But typically here you want to stand right here if you're going to try to loop this and go back and forth. Obviously, ideally, you want to be running this way and turn around, come this way and then slam it down here. But most of the time they're gonna be ready for that, so they're gonna be pushing you this way. So if that's happening, you'd pretty much just wanna get them to mind game themselves and then get away, get to the nearest tile. This one right here would do well in this situation, but it's gonna be a different tile when it comes here. The only things that don't change on this map are the corners. The corners pretty much never change. It'll be like in different scenarios, but you can always remember what the corner will be because it will always be a corner tile on the upstairs and the downstairs. And they will usually have the same downstairs every time as well. But this pallet right here, you wanna save it until the very end and use it to try to escape. Other than that, you don't wanna be looping that tile. Read it. I want to get used out of this window. Dang it. <laughs> I thought he was going to try to cut me off in front of me and I was going to try to pallet slam. The other entrance, however, I recommend looping, and I think it's not good to save till the very end unless you have a bunch of people that are ready to body block very coordinated.
This one right here is a very interesting tile. It's one of my favorite tiles in the entire map because you never want to be running it this way, right? And it's a drop down right there. And because it's a drop down, once you drop down there, you can't come back up. So the killer, if you can push them down that way, or you can sort of get them to push either other way because they're trying to specifically get you to run that way. So when you run down there, they don't want to chase you. So you can waste a lot of time here with killers, right? So if he was pushing me this way, the first thing I would do is jump down, right? Because if he doesn't chase me and he pushes me that way, or if he starts going that way and he goes this way, I can see if he jumps down that way, same thing. If he runs up behind me and I run around here, you want to wait here because they will be anticipating you to jump down. So a lot of times you can catch them double backing right here. You want to wait until they're pretty much like here, I want to say, because that's enough distance for you where... They definitely won't be able to double back and hit you before you make it to the pallet. And they're far enough away where if they straight up chased you this way, you'd be able to make the pallet. Which would force them back into the exact same scenario they were just in. They pushed you back that way, and they're pushing you out this way. Same exact situation. That's why you never want to run around this way, right? You'd always want to run this way. And if, ideally, you'd want to camp right about here, right? If you're seeing which way they went. Because... If they pushed you that way, you can wait and then do exactly what we were doing before. If they jump down that way, then you can run this way and doing what we were doing before. And if they push you this way, then we're running the correct way to throw the pallet down, right? Which they probably will be anticipating. And like I said, you can get them. Say if they do push you this way and then they jump down there. If you're close enough, right? If you're about here and they jump down, then you can throw the pallet. But if you're not there yet, say you're about here and you see them jump down because you're going to stay if they double backed. Then same scenario as before, you would just run back around here this way, run here, you'd wait here, and if they double back, you're just stuck here waiting, see which way they go, and if he gets there, he'd come back down again. There is literally, if you play this tile right, you can force the killer to be ran the proper direction and to throw the thing down because specifically of this drop down right here. This is the secret to unlocking this entire tile. And this is why I think you should loop this tile whenever you want, instead of waiting until the end game. The end game, this is not a great tile because you'd have to go out of your way to throw the pallet down. Because if I went out this way, the killer would just drop down there and now he's gonna meet me here. Unless I had like, you know, a body blocker here, maybe also a body blocker here. No! Oh yes, let's go. Someone got the pro fucking. <laughs> no. <laughs> no! Oh, nice, it is open. There's nobody there! David, you gotta block the other side. You gotta block the other side, David. You gotta block the other side, David! David! Oh my god, David. <laughs> For me to throw the pallet down and get out this pallet is just not that useful when you're trying to actually escape in my opinion might as well loop this tile earlier on and get some serious use out of it because you can loop killers for a decent amount of time because of the way you expect them to push you and expect them to want to push you you can use that against them on this tile there's a few different tiles like that on this map that you can use against them in the same manner which we will get to but it's usually the stairs tiles the freak say she ah <laughs> No, oh, he went that way. No! Dude, I love this tile, man. Nobody ever uses this tile either. Oh! Ah! 
Yes! There we fucking go. It took me way too long to get him on that side. We have a good tile into a good tile. this tile dude nobody ever runs this tile either they always save it for the end of the game but it's like low-key the best tile on the map look at this shit dude it's fucking hilarious he literally just left let's go booba Oh fuck, I'm fucked. No, I'm not. What the fuck? <laughs> Why is he being so meme <laughs> right, here we go. He's with follow, mate. His name's Mate! Let's fucking go! Oh shit, does he have save the best? I love this tile. This is like low-key my favorite tile on this map. Yay! Oh damn. Hmm. Yay, and got back to my favorite fucking thing. Oh yeah, it's Peppermento. So sad. Interesting that I'm running this tile this early. I will say that. I wonder if I would have not thrown that. What would have happened? Hmm. Nice. I will just come loop this. I'll be able to make it around. I think so, right? Yay! Is it fake? It's not nice. Let's go. All right. So this is pretty standard tile. This is just crates. One thing that I will say about the crates, and they can be in different spots, but you can greet it. You can do the stop for a second tech, make them back off, and you can loop around. Make sure you're always looping as tight as possible. This is a big thing you want to do. Always be looping as tight as possible. But this is definitely a short enough one where if the killer respects it, you can get another loop out of it. Maybe even chain it to another tile if you wanted to, if they respected it. And then you just keep holding forward, and then you run on to the next one. And then you'd be doing the same thing, right? If you wanted to. And ideally, you'd want to get the killer to respect here. But getting the killer to respect here and making it up to here would be difficult, to be fair. Because that is one of those drop downs and you will always get hit later than you expect to. Let's go! Instead of one a day, actually. It's like a minute long. This is where I'm gonna die here. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> Whatever that was, I appreciate it. I'm gonna go down. Oh no! I shouldn't have greeted it. No! We will get to that window though.
This is another scenario with an optional palette. Usually it'll appear here. The ones where it's rows of crates where it will not appear in the back and it'll instead appear in this side is if it's one of the middle ones here. Now it can spawn on either side like I was saying, but most of the time it's right here. But luckily you can see through the crates so you can see which one it is no matter what angle you're running up on it from. In the same scenario with this, when the palette is here, it is still greetable. You can get additional loot unless they have bloodlust. You can always get an additional loot. Might as well greet it until you're on death hook. It's more DVD specific. That's why I think maybe Huntress has the highest skill ceiling when you specifically, it's a hitbox thing related specifically to DVD. Yay, I got a mind game to work and it was probably the wrong tile. That's fine. I looped tight enough. This is the U crates that I call it because it's shaped like a U. This would be one of those scenarios where if you had a bigger head start on the killer, you'd want to run the big one first. And then once you got a little bit close, you'd want to keep holding forward. You don't want to stand here and wait too much. You want to use as much distance as you can. So you want to start looping this until he's close enough for you to greet it. And then greet it for a sec and then move on. You can get another loop out of it just like you did the other ones. But to get maximum efficiency, you want to loop the big one first. Maybe even get two loops out of this one if you can. And then once he's close enough, you greed the pallet and you go around and run this way, right? Use all sides of the loop. Here we go, P head. Good shit. <laughs> I didn't think you'd commit that hard. Nice. <laughs> you got it just a second too early, dude. That sucks because it would have, uh. <laughs> Does he have unrelenting? I think that is unrelenting, right? If I was like a second earlier to that locker, he would have, uh, gotten the grab on me, right? <laughs> Into the way I was hoping for him to be broken into. Yay. Here we go. This is the best tile against Wesker. <laughs> if he uses power, actually, is a terrible tile against Wesker, I think. I'd be able to dip in that one thing, but then I'd be literally fucking stuck in a corner. No, I lied. It is good against Wesker. Haha! This is another tile where the pallet can be in one of two places. The pallet can either be here or the pallet can be here. Now this is another one similar to what I was saying before and how if you're looping it, you can get the killer to try to drop down on you, right? So you, and you can abuse that in a certain way. Like if you're running this way and you see the killer drop down and then you run back this way and you say the same thing, a killer drop down. If the killer drops down in this manner, running this way and then you can throw the pallet obviously i always advise against throwing pallets until you're on death hook but in certain scenarios say you have a few gens done already or it would add too much pressure for you to go down say another survivor was down close then chuck them as early as you want i suppose in those scenarios but it, i always like to save pallets for the end and the reason you don't want to jump down here is because 
You lose a little bit of distance every time you do. The killer won't lose distance jumping down this way. They will if you run down this way, because the killer will have to waste a swing coming down this way, but if you're not far enough ahead, the killer can just hit you on the original lunge if they hold far enough. So what you really want to do is just try to use the killer to see which way he's going and try to get him to bait down and then slam the pallet down if it's here. If it's here, most of the time, you're just going to get value out of these little loops. Greeting it, as I was saying earlier, is greeting the, the pallet over and over. But if you want to, if the killer's pushing you this way, you can get additional loops. Because say then you push this way, and then the killer drops down. Then you come and you can throw it down here. Or you can keep greeting it. But that would be an ideal scenario. Is if you're looping this way, switch to here. Killer drops down to cut you off. Then you come back and throw it down. I'd say that would be the nicest way to loop this particular scenario when the pallet is here. Ah! Fuck, I decided too late. He'll get me here. I was zoned out. No, I wasn't. What the fuck? <laughs> oh. oh my god, this is about to be a shit show because the only thing I have here is this window that killers don't even know exists. <laughs> he knows it exists, nice. Chad Blades. It was a super fun match too. Fuck. It's like this guy just demolishing this team with none of those add-ons or anything. Please drop down. Oh nice. <laughs> that was like deja vu. <laughs> Sad thing is freezer door is already down. Actually, let's Can I make this? I don't think I can. Got him though. <laughs> this one right here is another stairs pallet similar to the one I was talking about earlier, where most of the time the killer will be close enough where you'll just be gaming it like this and greeting the pallet once more. This is another very fun one to greet the pallet on. Against Nemesis, you can actually duck it. This is low enough to duck. But you have to be all the way down with Nemesis if you're going to duck it. But this is a good greed one that you can run back here and try to get the killer to jump down and then slam it this way. Works just the same as the other one does. But this one, the pallet will always be here. The pallet will not be up on the wall against the wall that way. The pallet will always be right here into the stairs. And that's exactly how you do it. You'll be running around. And then, as I said earlier, be greeting it by itself. But if you get the chance to try to run this way, get the killer to jump down, and then come up and throw it if you want to get away from it safely. That is the safest way to get away from it. <laughs> oh, no. Mm, yes. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Dude, he's going for 360s. Okay. There he goes. I didn't notice till the last second. I was like, that's what he's doing. Greet it. Yay. <laughs> Fucking pallet greed for the win. Not gonna hit it. I'm not gonna throw it. And now I'm gonna jump this easy ass shit. And hope you chase me. Which he didn't. <laughs> Interesting. Can you do the crouch thing, Piggy? Gizzy. Oh, he's right there. Got the greed. You jumped all the way down? <laughs> so there can be a tile that can spawn here. A lot of the pallets on this map are optional. I'd say 95% of them are going to be here all the time, but they just move around on which ones are which. But there can be a pallet right here. The way you'd want to do this one, it is greetable. It would be, you can greet it not only and run around this one right here, this way, but if the killer was a super greeter, you can greet it and then loop this way. This is the way that you really want to loop after it, and you'll get a lot of value out of because then you can really greet it. You might get one or maybe two loops on this one, but the killer will get fast enough, and you won't be able to mind get them long enough. Switch to this one and get some serious value. You can loop this one a lot tighter than it looks, and a lot of times killers won't loop it quite as tight as they can, so you can get some extra loops out of it, and if the pallet is here, they will respect it. However, if you're playing against something like a Nemesis, as I was stating earlier, this is a terrible tile because not only can he slide the whip over this thing, but he can also hit you across the gap. Running too loose. Should have ran the long way. That's why I should have ran the long way. No, I should have jumped it. I would have actually made that. This is bad, there's no pallet here. <laughs> I'm kinda fucked. <laughs> well, that's one way out of that. Before we go over the corners, let's go over the top mid area. There are a few tiles that can spawn and they'll be in different places because they're all optional. You always have pallets up here. They will just be in different areas. One of the areas is this one right here. This one is best used if you're running at it this way, right? If you're running at it this way and you drop it, it is not possible to drop this pallet and stay up. If you drop this pallet, it will force you down. That's why it's best used to jump it from that way. A lot of times you'll be caught up in the position where you're trying to loop the killer if you're going to do it that way. Use the stairs as I was saying before, running down. Try to get him to jump himself down and then do it again if you can. If he jumps down again, do the same thing. And if he's close enough, you just end up camping this and see if he doubles back. Wait for the killer to be, like, literally here for you to throw the pallet if you're going to camp it. Otherwise, I'd say once you can see him around here. Because or else when you throw the pallet, you will lose a bit of distance. You won't be able to run right away because of that drop. You will get staggered 
and he will gain distance on you, and he will expect you to throw the pallet, so you can get some mind games out of it. But, the best way to use it is to throw it down that way. But yeah, Psych is hilarious. Every episode I watched of Psych I thought was great. Sometimes you can even have it connected to another staircase, so you can just, if you pre-drop it, you can jump down, run back up that way, run back up the stairs, come around here and jump down again, force the killer to, to break it, if the killer doesn't break it. Most of the time, the killer will break the pallet, though, so I don't like to use that as rock solid. That's just a if-he-does scenario. Interesting. Is he? Oh, he's right there. Got the greed. You jumped all the way down? What the fuck? So this is another fun one that you can run around this way. Not just that way. You get the killer to drop down. Same thing. Run over here. Once you're stuck here, it's a very greetable pallet. If you're in the unfortunate case where you have thrown this pallet and you're stuck here on this side, it's going to be one of those scenarios where you're going to be standing here and the killer is going to be double backing over and over and over. This is very tough timing because even if he's here, he's at the point where the killer can hit you and still walk around and not hit you. He's not going to lunge and then walk around, but if the killer is here and you jump, it's and you and he can double back and still have enough distance essentially to get you um or he can just straight up slam you so the only way to get away from that seemingly is to get the killer to swing and that's a tough position so that's a good example of a pallet that's stronger when it's up than it is when it's down i would need to own my own business before i could buy all the fang outfits Fuck. This is a hilarious pallet to greed. One of the funniest pallets in the entire game to greed because for some reason those barrels right there make the killer looping as tight as possible a lot harder than it is on Survivor. If you're playing on Survivor, you don't want to be running like in this way and then go around. This sounds strange, but talking about trigonometry how the hypotenuse is the longest side of the triangle but it is a shorter distance than the other two sides combined so if you're thinking about running it straight here versus running it up and then to the side it is much more efficient to be running it straight and then turn and then go in and then come and straight and then in and then out and then straight as opposed to looping it like you know you're actually doing more work looping it that way. If you would, just run a straight line there and then in. That is the shortest distance you can travel. Same with this side. Either side is a great pallet to greed, and it's rough on the killer to try to run as tight as possible. But if you're looping as tight as possible, it's the perfect pallet to greed, and you can get some serious value out of this thing. If you're looping just... But... You must be looping as tight as possible. This is another pallet that's a good example of you could always be looping tighter. That is where serious experience in Survivor comes into play. Because no matter how many hours you have in this game, from, you know, 100 to 10,000, doesn't matter. You can always be looping tighter. And this is one of those pallets where if you're looping as tight as possible, you make it really hard for the killer to catch up to you. And that's how you get the max value out of it. Doesn't look like a great pallet, but it's definitely a great pallet to have some serious fun with. Oh shit! Oh! Oops. 
looping tight. I'm like gaining. You are not looping tight enough. Swing. Yes! I should go there. Can I make it around? No! Alright, but now I'm good. Now I loop as tight as possible. I need to loop this one though. Because this one I can loop tighter without him hitting me. He'd have to aim higher. Being tight. Hey, he's still respecting. What? <laughs> I'm like holding my controller too tight. I needed to readjust. God damn it. Of course he doubles back right when I needed to readjust. <laughs> the tractor hole. This tractor hole is another funny one to get some serious value out of where once again you want to be looping as absolutely tight as possible because it doesn't look like you'd be saving much distance but you never know looping as absolutely tight around these entire little parts might be the difference between you getting hit and not getting hit and once he's caught up close enough to you you can greet it greet it go around this way you can look over that way if it's a shorter killer especially because you can stand up on this and see if they're double backing and you can see through this, so this isn't an issue. This is if it's a shorter killer, like a hag or something, and they double back there. That's where it becomes an issue. But this is another one that you can greed. So, if you want to get away with it, you totally can. No! I make it nowhere. Ah! Uh -huh! <laughs> Guess not. At least he had fun with it. He could have gotten an easy hit on me. <laughs> he is chasing me. Lol. Oh, fuck. I don't have that thing open. That's why he's chasing me, because I'm pretty much dead. We got some jukes, though. Woo! Better. Oh shit. Now we're going to move to the bottom mid. The bottom mid, this is another very unsafe pallet. Best used when it's being greeted. When you're, when the killer is close and you run into it. If the killer is a bit farther away, you can see the killer through this scenario right here. You can see the killer through this. So you can, and especially because that pallet can spawn here as well as it is right there. And since you can see the killer through that, you can use this whole thing to loop around. Make the killer catch up to you before greeting it. If the pallet is here, right? 
and you get you might be able to get a whole nother loop around. Same with the pallet being right there, but I do not think you can get a whole nother loop around from greeting this one. I, I don't think it's far enough out of the way. I think you'd be taking a hit. However, I have seen one total time, but I have seen it. I have seen this pallet be close enough to another tile for you to be able to loop it to, but it has to be one of the underground gyms and it has to be a long wall gym. Hmm. Oh no, it's closed. Oh yeah. Let's go. Dang, this door is closed too. That's really sad. So it would have to be a gym like this, but if it was the long wall, and if that gym would have spawned here, let's say, then you could have gotten some value going back and forth between the two. But these two are more greeting and more like, oh shit, pallets, to be honest. Running down the stairs and you need to throw something really quick. Same thing, there can be a pallet right here that can spawn and it's kind of like a oh crap pallet. But if you want to get some value out of it and you can see them through, then get some value this way. Or running the other way, either or. Slooping as tight as possible the whole time. Right? And then say he respected it and went around, then you might get another go around. But these are very unsafe pallets, to be fair. That's why they're better standing up than when you're throwing them down. Boo! I could have gone throwing that big god pallet, but... Yeah, the mind game! Oh god. Yes! This god pallet can spawn pretty much at any spot in the bottom that's not a corner. They can be dangerous as well because they could spawn in a spot where the thing in front of it is a closed door and there is no point to that because if you throw the pallet down, you are stuck in between a closed door. <laughs> she can't go anywhere. <laughs> this is a good scenario. This scenario, this is a god palette. And even with the scenarios with closed doors, the doors will open once you do the generators uh, next to the door. So if you're having problems finding generators on this map, look for a closed door and you know there will be a generator close. But most of the time, this is just a god palette that you can either have fun trolling the killer where you can stand there and bait him into respecting it and running away, which will probably result in a hit, or you can just throw it down whenever you're in danger. But that's another type of palette you want to save until you're on death hook. Me like a dat. He's still chasing a wall. <laughs> Good shit. Almost. You almost got me. But it's more like DVD specific when I have to go this way, huh? Oh, yeah. Just barely got that pallet down. <laughs> I'm throwing too many pallets though, but it's getting a pallet plant. There's too many more. <laughs> it's too far. I threw down god pallets there, unfortunately, but we get away with it. He had a wiggle.
A lot of times you will get this terrible pallet that spawns right here. And it's not quite as bad as people think. It's It will spawn and this block that you run around can be bigger or smaller. But if you have a proper head start, you can force the killer to chase you around. And you loop it this way, right? And then you can greet it. And then keep looping it this way. A lot of people don't think about it. They think they're going to try to loop it this way. But you're asking to take a hit if you're going to try to loop the pallet this way. You were just going to get hit, and that's going to be the end of that. You really want to loop it around the wall. Or, if you're running this way and use it and greet it to get distance to another tile. That's another good way you can use the pallet. <laughs> this is another one of the random gyms that you will get on the downstairs it is a typical long wall gym you can greed this by itself to be honest this is not a bad pallet to greed by itself and like any normal Long wall gym, you can have that. Wait for the killer to go in this way. They might try to bait you into a... Where they'll vault right in front of you. And then keep doing the same thing. Expect that. The greed to be standing like right here-ish. Wait. Gotta make sure you push him this way. Wait for the double back. If he doesn't double back and you push him this way, then you jump the window. And rinse and repeat. That was the only one I could have ran into. Yeah, a pretty nice setup here. Damn it. <laughs> this is one of the random gyms. You can get these random gyms down low. One of them is on the very corner, which is usually an LT wall. The rest of them are random, where they will spawn and what they are. This is just a normal pallet gym. This would be the worst case scenario, essentially, for us. These, like other... Normal tiles, I would camp here, trying to see which way the killer wants. He moonwalks around the corner. I have the biggest rags time to start to run this way and throw it down. And same scenario, if you see him coming around that way, it's the best case scenario to try to run back around this way and hit him this way. If you don't see a red stain, that's when you throw a pallet down and try to hit him, stun him, and get away. But that is the worst version of all the gyms. This is the rack room. There's always going to be a pallet around here. It's usually going to be on the dead side. This is the dead side. I call it the dead side because you can't see anywhere around it. Although it can be right here as well, I believe. It can be right here too. It just will never be in the doorway, which would help tremendously. It's always just... Most of the time it's on this back side though. So trust that it's going to be on this back side. I didn't get the hole to work. I didn't use the hole right. That's pre-drop, unfortunately. This is one of the worst pallets on the map because the killers most of the time know that you're not going to get much value if you get the pallet down and you're on this side because when they break the pallet, you wouldn't have made it very far. In this case scenario, you'd make it to that one, but say it spawned in another area, we wouldn't make it very far. If we threw it here, we went this way. Oh, we have a god pallet here, so I guess we wouldn't have made it very far, but that's very fortunate here. Most of the time, the killer is going to expect you to try to get some value if you're going to try to run him this way. And then throw it down, because that's the way you're going to get max value. Otherwise, you're leaving it up to RNG, whether you get away from this killer or not, and you're on this side when you throw it down. If you throw it down on this side, 
and he starts breaking it, in this scenario we'd get away, but say this was just a dead zone, we would definitely take a hit. So this is another pallet that, once again, you would like to greed because it's better standing up than it is when it's down. However, it is easy to get mind gamed on that pallet, I will say. This is another god pallet that can spawn in different areas that you can just throw down and killer can't do anything about. Throw it down and brag about your skill. Great perk on Trickster, and I just saw that. I just saw why. I, like, never see Tricksters using it, but I almost never see Tricksters anyway, I'll be fair. <laughs> Goodness. Yeah, let's go back here. It's not looping tight enough. I actually see a lot of people playing killer a lot not looping tight enough. Like almost more often than survivors. But that's actually why I like playing Survivor 2, because this is a constant game. Technically I'm not looping this tight enough. You know what I mean? So most of the time you will have a, and you can have a pallet here, but it's not here this time. Most of the time when you see these stairs, there will either be a pallet on the side or the, or behind them. This one is most likely to not have one, but you can have a pallet there. This is another set of stairs. As I was saying earlier, a lot of times you'll get a pallet at the back of them. This is an example of a pallet spawning at the back of them. But in these scenarios, when you throw this pallet down, you have to hold forward pretty much immediately, and if you don't, you have to get back because the killer might sucker you into it by faking a break and then running the other way, especially since there's a broken line of sight. You have to make sure the killer's breaking the pallet and then get away from it. Hmm. <laughs> Oh god, she got me. I fucked up. And she fucked up. <laughs> I would suggest holding forward and getting away from the pallet entirely. I do not suggest letting the killer break the pallet, turning around, and then running up the stairs because you just sacrificed all of the distance you made by throwing the pallet down if you do so. So in that situation, throw the pallet down and just hold forward and get away from there. Now, all of that being said, let's get into the corners of the map. So the corners will almost always have the bottoms be the exact same. This right here is one of the most fun tiles in all of DBD. For multiple reasons, there are so many things you can do here. Depending on the killer's experience level. If the killer is very inexperienced, you can make the killer think you fell by just running this way, right? I always want to be kill the, push the killer to be pushing me this way. If I'm going to try that. Because the killer can see you over the crates and he might see your head drop and think you dropped down. Right? And then you can come back around this way. It worked! Oh my god! Did you guys see that? If the killer went down and they'll jump down. Or the killer can come down this way and jump down that way. Come here, dude. Use your thingy. <laughs> Got him. That is called holding the killer. It is one of the most fun things you can do in this entire game for some reason, right? But before doing that, you want to get max value. You just want to run as many circles. This is another dangerous tile against a nemesis because he can hit you if you're looping too tight across the mid with the whip. This is another reason I'm saying he is. this is nemesis best map. So you can be running this way and hold the killer or see if you hold the killer. This does take a little bit of practice. This is one of those tiles where you would want to come over here in the game if you're super far ahead in the match and just practice getting onto this little ledge because it does take a little bit of practice. It's not the easiest thing in the world. It's not hard, but it definitely takes a little bit of practice. So that's the first option of things we can do. The second fun thing we can do, and I don't ever do this, and this is just because this is recommended if you're using the perk that allows you to push pallets back up after being used because... One of the cardinal rules I try not to break for myself while playing Survivor is taking a hit and throwing the pallet because now you took the damage state and the killer gets to break the pallet. However, if you're in this corner, deep in this corner, and the killer swings at you, you can run through him and throw the pallet down. And when you throw the pallet down, it will push the killer down into the hole. 
And if you are using that perk to push the pallet back up, then you just wasted a lot of his time and you wasted no pallet. So if that's the scenario and you have that perk, that is a very viable thing that you can do to the killer. If you are using that perk, that is a very viable thing to do. If you're not trying to save this pallet, don't try to take a hit and throw the pallet because then he'll just break it and it was kind of a waste of a pallet. Now, realize that when you jump down here, you will always take stagger and it will always be the LT wall. So you will always be stuck in not the best scenario, especially seeing as it's the corner of the map. Against a nightlight killer, you are just messed up here. You are just, you will take a hit and you will go down. And it will always be below that specific tile. The corners will always correlate. That is funny. God damn it. At least it wasn't the coin. Of course, I get shot all the way across the fucking hall. I don't want to throw any fucking pallets. There is no pallet there. Wow. All right, we did something semi-productive. Boo! All right. No, this is not the one I wanted to go to. <laughs> this is a funny game we got going on here. No! <laughs> ah! It's fine, I'll go to the OP spot. <laughs> Did they fix this? <laughs> they didn't fix it. <laughs> It will not go down without a fight. I'll do it again. I probably should have thrown that or camped it there. No, 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 <laughs> My man is literally... <laughs> Interesting. I have this exact skin when I play Hag. <clears throat> I love this skin. Dang. I wish they would have swung. <laughs> Alright, time to play super effing risky. Looping as tight as fucking possible. No, too tight. Not really sure where I'm headed. I should have gone that way, actually. I'm running this the wrong way. Didn't matter. Drop down, please. I actually want to loop it this way in case I can hole her.
Damn it. What that type of thing is it converts that file into analog. Um. Dang. <laughs> Interesting. In this corner, we have the double pallets. This is a much more interesting tile than people give credit for. This is, if you're going to save one of the two pallets, this is the one to save since it's more accessible to the out. If this one's already down and you're forced to run that one over there and you throw it, it's much harder to make it to another tile. Whereas if you threw this one down first, you can either obviously make it to this one or make it to another tile nearby. But in this scenario, if you threw that one down, you might be taking a hit unless you loop this one anyway, because we got no pallet on either side, but that's for RNG to decide. However, you can chain these together. If you run this one and the killer goes around the other way, and now you're running back to this one, and you're running this around, running this normally, and this is not a mind gameable pallet. When this pallet is down, the killer cannot get you, because the killer would have to come over here for you to jump, and then the killer would have to come all the way over here for you to jump. Killers do try that, but even if they are bloodlust, as long as you're patient, it is not mind gameable. It is not a 50-50, it is you being patient, waiting for them to come over here and then you jump again. <laughs> Probably should have thrown it down there. But I'm gonna count on type looping. I don't really think this is <laughs> yeah, mind gameable. <laughs> mm, yes. However, as I said, it's good to, a lot of times you can get the killer, you can even greet it, and then run over here, get the killer, say the killer tries to mind game, push back this way, then killer's running, and then you're back to this one, and not only can you run this way, be careful of this mannequin as well, it does stick out a little bit, but that's part of what makes this one unmind gameable as well, but the fun thing about this one is you can also run it this way. This one is very, be very careful because if you run it a bit too tight, I'm not sure what leads to it, but I assume it's running too tight. You will do that and you will stagger. And that is losing distance for the killer. You will both come to a stop and you will not be running as tight. So the killer is getting double distance on you. So when you're running down these stairs, these are some of the only stairs I recommend this. Run it a little bit loose. You don't want to stagger. I gotta hope that this pallet greed right here works. It didn't. Oh my god, apparently you can do it there too. It works that way on both sides of this. If you run this a little bit too tight, you can stagger as well, so be careful. Same thing if you're running it out this way to run that, you will stagger. So when you're running these stairs, just be a little careful and run it a little bit loose to be safe, and then run it around. Now these stairs have the added damage of trying to use this window as well. Now this window, ideally you can greet it and force the killer to try to hit you, then you can make it. But a lot of times the killer will hit you if they go out anyway. The killer will be anticipating for you to jump it, and if you jump it and the killer goes out this way, you're either going to take a hit before hitting that pallet, or jump down there, which the killer would go around, and you will be forced to use one of the god pallets, but even then, you're risking, with the stagger you receive from jumping down the hole, you're risking getting hit by the killer either way. So I don't use this window too, too often. Every now and then it's it's fun to try to get some use out of, but when you have such strong pallets right there that you can chain, might as well. But if that pallet's down and this one's right here, that is a fun little thing that you can add back and forth as well. Or to try to get away from, especially if you have balance landing. <gasps> Alright, here we go. The all M1 hag. That would be literally the best thing. I could ever want. Good job, Hag. He had a wee goal.
<laughs> Literally, any way she tried to put a <laughs> thing down. Where's the other trap at? It's around here somewhere. <laughs> nope, shouldn't have pushed me that way. <laughs> Wrong. There is a right way to do this egg. Nope, shouldn't have put me that way either. There you go, but you let me pass. I got very lucky there. This is a good situation against Blight. I'm gonna run it this way. I should have thrown that down if I wanted to not get hit, but. Is that Coop de Grace? I don't wanna throw this down. Yes, it is Coupe de Grace. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, I need to get away from here because I don't want to throw this pals down and I don't want to not go down if I can. Damn it. Let's F and go. There it is. Oh, fuck. Haha, <laughs> I got him again. I'm telling you guys, that shit fucking works. When you can't. Oh, no! It stopped the pallet. Because she took a hit, so it's fucking blood echoed. <laughs> I fucking love doing that. I'm not even gonna make it again though. Yes, I did! <laughs> but that was hilarious. I love that tile. <laughs> oh no, he got past. No. I wanted to do the mind game thing, but it didn't work. They didn't fall for it. Why are they slow as hell? Are they just looping really wide? I think they're just looping really wide. Damn. <laughs> she didn't go for it twice. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what is he waiting for? If you do jump the window and you jump down. 
The stagger is what I was talking about. And you make it to the pallet. These are some funny pallets. They're sort of going to want to use them in succession. You don't want to throw this pallet going this way. Because if you throw the pallet going this way, then the killer is definitely going to be able to cut you off. And then you're going to end up throwing this pallet. However, if you save that specific pallet, this is the pallet used to get everybody out of the basement. Both of them can get everybody out of the basement. But this one's better to throw from either side. Obviously, you want to be on this side if you throw it so you can get away. But if you throw it on this side... And you start, I actually think the best thing to do is start running immediately to try to get to the next tile. A lot of times people will try to mind game this and see if he goes this way. But if you try to mind game and see if he goes that way and you come back here, now you're in the exact spot you were before. And you're risking the killer coming mind game and risking the pallet state. So in this scenario, I would just throw this pallet, wait for the killer to be breaking it. The second you actually see the killer breaking it, because he will try to mind game it. Once you see the killer breaking it, just hold forward and get away. Don't throw that pallet. Keep it there. Save that pallet for the same scenario. If you're running this way... And you do it, that would be a scenario to try to mind game it, right? Because if the killer goes to break that pallet, you're going to have to run a bit towards him to get around this wall. That's why that one you want to save, that one right here, you want to save for specifically getting out of the basement because of that scenario. You'd have to run around the wall and then cut back into him towards that way. And even the same scenario, if you waited to mind game it and you're waiting here and he pushed you around this way, you're risking a lot of going here and then. Him being here, and if you're injured, you're going down and even putting you in the basement. Or, if you're running this way and he goes that way and realizes that you're not there and he comes out here, you haven't gained that much distance. So, this pallet you really want to save for running this way and throwing it down this way. Because if you're running this way and you throw it down, you're pretty much going to end up using this pallet. And might as well not use both. Just use one. If you're on this side and throw the pallet, you can run that way or this way but i would say going this way because once again if you run this way you have to cut back in towards the killer and that's what you never want to do Ah, you did come. That's hilarious. <laughs> Additionally, once this bathroom generator is done, this door is open. You can loop that pallet pretty normally. I would want to be looking in the middle if I was running here because this is definitely a greetable pallet. And you want to be not looking back at the killer, but sort of trying to keep the wall in the middle of your screen so that you can see which side he would be coming from. So you can see right here, you can see on the right and left, I can see the doorway, whether I'd see the killer or the red stain, and you can react accordingly in that way. So that's how I'd loop that. <laughs> Can I make it down to this god pallet down here? It's already open! Now I'm getting put in the basement. Good old camp the pallet strat. Okay. So this corner, the pallet can either spawn here or it can spawn here they're good either way and this is another perfect tile to try to bait the killer into jumping down the stairs and get some extra loops out of it so let's say i was running this way with the pallet as it is and then you bait the killer into jumping down the stairs and you turn right back around and run this way this is a rough pallet if i threw it down on this side and the killer breaks the pallet you would want to sort of still be looping wait for the killer to run around before you could go down to another tile in this scenario i would pretty much either have to hold forward and run to that or I'd be stuck here. But if I was stuck here and I was running down this way, that tile, this pallet can either spawn here or it can spawn here. And same scenario, say I threw it. If I threw that, I would wait for him to break and I would want to hold forward immediately because, and you do not want to try to run back up the stairs unless you ran this way. 
and the killer chased you and you threw it down here and you got him to break it you have to be on this side to make it back up the stairs or else you will run back towards the killer to make it up the stairs oh shit well this is bad can I make that I think so I have to hold forward, because yeah, he goes around that way. So if the pallet is here, you have to be on this side, or you're not making it back up the stairs. If you're running this way, and then you threw it here, wait for the killer to be breaking it, immediately you have to try to run to make as much distance as you can once he starts breaking it. That is not the type of pallet to try to sit there in mind game. If the pallet spawns here, and you run down, also, I'm pretty sure you can see it if you're running this way, and you're looking behind before running around. So you just have to run it a little bit loose, which is sad because you don't want to be running loose often. Most of the time, me personally, I'm just taking the 50-50 and I just run it this way if I'm forced and I just want to see what pallet I get when I'm running. But you don't really want to be throwing the pallet this way. Because if you throw the pallet in this scenario, I would be forced to try to mind game this and you better believe he'd be ready. Which would be standing here waiting on which side. And if he pushes you that way, which would be the smarter way, he would gain max distance. And that would be a scenario where you would pretty much need this pallet to be right here, or you wouldn't have enough distance. Now, if the pallet is right here, and you're mind gaming it this way, right? Say the killer's chasing you. Similar scenario. Killer tries to jump down. This is a very likely scenario if the killer would jump down and the pallet is right there, because he would be in between you and the pallet, and then you'd push back this way. Be very aware that that is probably going to happen. But the killer might not jump down this way. To push you off this way because if the killer jumps down this way and you throw the pallet down they are screwed it does happen the killer will jump down that way occasionally and you throw the pallet down here and he is forced to break the pallet and you are free to run pretty much to any tile that you would possibly want but m most of the time killer will be ready for that the easiest way to get the killer of the pallets over there to jump down is be running this way wait for the killer to jump and then run around this way and then same thing if you were in danger and on death hook and you need to throw the tile then you could throw that right be aware that he might try to cut you off so he might fake it and then run down this way and as just happened if you loop too tight you can stagger be careful on that it's pretty much all stairs in the game looping a little bit too tight on stairs directly next to a wall might make you stagger but if you throw it down be aware that he might fake it and then try to come around and cut you off as you're running so wait for him to be breaking and then try to get away i could run nowhere I don't think I make it. Oh, that was so fucking close. I wanted to go jump that window, but I can't. No, that pallet's down too. I should have ran the other pallet. Trying to figure out where to go. Like, I feel like the only time I get use out of that is to know if a pallet has been used or not. You know what I mean? I would get serious use out of that, though. Because you're like, I'm not going to go there. Because, obviously. I'm actually going to run to this one. I didn't want to vault the pallet three times. It's going to block. <laughs> so now we're getting into the strongest area of the entire map. Now, this is the only part that was not a corner that I left. To talk about these two spots because these two you do not want to throw do not want to throw either of these pallets because this is your goal to make it to the promised land which is that specific window if you make that window you are safe you are now at the strongest part of the entire map once again unless you're playing against something like a huntress or a nemesis that can hit over that loop once you make that window you are safe 
got to memorize where that window is when you first spawn because it can be in different corners, obviously, since the tiles do move around. But it will always be that and that leading to this, which helps because if you see that specific tile or that specific tile, you know where the corner is because they will always be the surrounding tile. So let's get into it. This one is when you want to greed. Ideally, so say he swung there. You're not going to be able to make that with a swing. You're going to have to make him break the pallet. So be aware, and this is a very easily bloodlustable pallet where he will expect to do that. So he is not going to care about getting pallet stunned. Pallet stun will help you get away from it. That's the main way you're going to get away from this tile and get up without him breaking it. But expect it. Expect the double backs on these two. This is the tighter one, so this is the smaller of the two. So if you're looping it and you get to that one, I would start trying to mind game it here if you really want to get the pallet stun. Force him into a lunge, pallet stun him, and then get away. That would be the way with that one. The Slipknot songs I always thought sounded better live. Because they play it faster live. And it's like fucking awesome. I'm not going to make it. No, I'm going to eat it down here because I'm not going to throw this pallet yet. You need to save this pallet for later on when you're like on death hook and you're not going to make it. They got him with the stall tech though. Got to hit him with it sometimes, right? Yes! Can we make it now? Yes! <laughs> Holy bloodlust. Goddamn. I need a swing here. Yes! Oh shit, he almost had me that time. Alright, he got me. <laughs> it's really is like one of the coolest he has ever seen. No! Ah <laughs> oh, shit. That was a big boy swing, huh? I have pretty much got to get. No, I should have thrown it. No. This one's a more interesting tile by itself in that you can get a few extra loops around looping the long one. 
He's chasing you. You can loop the long one. Maybe even get him to go around and loop the long one again. But then the second time, he's going to be too close, so the greed wouldn't work. So the second time, you got to go around this way. And then you get, might get stuck in this 50-50. Be looking around to see which way he's coming from. If you get the pallet stun or get him to break the pallet, that's the only way you're getting up to the promised land. But you might be able to get up to the promised land anyway by a greed. That's just not a scenario I'm usually used to because he'll be bloodlust to me by the time I get there. I don't know if I can make this again, but I'm gonna fucking try. Yeah, let's go. These might have the bloodlust. No? He might still get me. I'm gonna greet it though. No, I shouldn't have greeted it. Damn. I have to be kind of creative making it back though. This is not the way I should be running. No, he got me. No, he didn't. How did he do that? Why did he let me get back here? Monsters playing. Oh my god. Swing. Yeesh. Very good. And the next match. See what I mean? Like, here we go. Case number three. And you want these tiles here because if you're on death hook, you want to be able to make it to the promised land. So now that we have covered every other part except the strongest part of the map, let's talk about the promised land. This is freezer. Freezer is the strongest part of the map. It is always going to be below this window. This window is the safest window on the map, except if the killer is close. I will say, be very careful. This is a wonky hitbox because of how far of a drop it is. So if you don't get the running vault, which I literally never want to be in the position of trying to get the running vault here. You never want to be trying to get the running vault here for two reasons. You can't loop too tight. For some reason, this is another one of those staircases where if you're looping too tight, every now and then you'll just get caught on absolutely nothing. You'll come to just like that, how I came to a complete stop for a sec. I think it has more to do with that little railing thing there. Exactly like that. You don't want to be looping these stairs too tight. Which means you don't want to be going out of your way because you could hit this one too. You don't want to be looping a little bit loose, then go super out of your way to try to get a running vault. You just want to be in the position to be able to jump this. Because even if you get the running vault with the steep drop down, it takes a little bit longer for your hitbox to move completely past the wall. And you will get some really wonky looking hits after you've jumped the wall on this specific tile. Also, you are in danger versus a Huntress on this tile. If Huntress is down here and you jump, it's a very easy hit for Huntress. Every other killer, if you're up here, you can get the easy jump. But Huntress, you cannot jump this window in front of her or you will take an easy hatchet to the face. No, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, fucking yes. But this is my only choice here now. I won't make it to freezer though. But she has. T did she just de? Uh, what's it called? Good shit. That being said, jump the safe window and let's go down. So. This is one of the only areas where you do want to check early game where there will be a generator or not. Because if a generator is blocking this specific door, then this is a loop by itself and that's loop by itself, which is not a very good thing. This is a pretty decent, strong loop by itself where you get your three vaults and that's fun. But this should be a decent loop by itself, but against something, once again, like a nemesis or a huntress, this isn't going to help you much because you're basically just a sitting duck in front of them, essentially. Or a trickster. And you really want to be chaining them together. These two. 
because that's the secret. These ones, they can both be closed, would be bad RNG for you to have them both be closed because you would, it'd be harder for you to get away from it since your only way away would be this way and you'd have to have the killer on that side of the pallet. But mainly it's not too bad unless you see this door closed. You do want to check this, as I said earlier in the match, you do want to check this one. And in fact, upstairs, you would want to check those doors as well because you'd want to be able to get to that corner from both sides because this is your safe haven on this map. There's a lot of good loops in general. This is by far the strongest. So here's how you do it, right? If you drop down and you have a decent enough distance to make the first loop to freezer, you're just gonna come here to freezer. And if you come here, if you have the distance where you can just jump and see which way he went, so if he went around this way and he pushed you this way, then you would have to worry too much. Then you could just run back this way, seeing which way he went, and then you could come back to this loop. But most of the time, the killers will just push you through this way anyway. Say they went out and they'll go around and push you this way. Now, if you get a little bit too far and you don't see the killer, you're going to want to turn around because killer might be pushing you back that way, which is fine. If you catch it early enough, you can save another vault of your three in chase by running around and then making it back to the pallet. But a lot of times it'll be too close and you'll have to waste another, another hit, which you can get the running vault by running a little bit wide. If the killer is a bit closer where they can mind game it, you will want to stop right in line with this meat right here. Right? Because if you stop right in mind with, line with the meat, you can have it in view where you just go back and forth to see which way the killer pushed from. Because even if you're here when the killer starts pushing you and you turn and look at him, you will be able to make the running ball. As long as you wait till the very last second. You don't want to start running and then press the button immediately because it'll sucker you into the not running vault like this. You see how I didn't get the running vault that time? You have to wait till the last second. So you're sitting here looking side to side and then you got to run at it, wait till the last second and get the running vault. So if you're being pushed this way, you're going to stand right here in line with this meets, be looking back and forth side to side. Once the killer pushes you this way, you're going to run, wait until the last second to get the running vault and then push around and then wait for him to push this way. And if he pushes you this way, you catch early enough, you can make it all the way back around without wasting another vault because even if he does push you back that way, you can run this way and vault it. I don't know if I make this actually. It's going to be very close. Freezer OP, freezer OP. Looking like a fool while my freezer's OP. Wanted to get one more vault out of it. I think that was the way. Although I think I get hit here actually. No, I don't. Let's go. Yes! Max freezer value. Love to see it. See, I was hoping that pallet be there, but I knew it wasn't from earlier. You gonna double back? No, you didn't. No, pallet. All right, I'm officially dead. Oh shit. He had a wiggle. I'll probably get tunneled here. No, no. Yes. Oh god, I was going to try that. Gotta 
God damn it. No fast fault. Jump it, jump it, jump it, jump it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, fuck, it's down. I wasn't expecting this. This sucks. Oh, chase me in the freezer, please. Please, sir. Man. Oh, shit, I didn't even get the fast fault. I'm a dumbass. Oh! He ain't letting me go. I'm getting rewarded for poor play. He's gonna hit me, too. Oh my god, he choked. Oh! I didn't sign up for this. Now, what you really want to do is say you get the first vault and he pushes you like normal this way. And he pushes you around there. Comes around. He sees you. He's pushing you this way. And then you run to here. Now the killer's on that side. A lot of times the killer will run in there for a second and then realize what happened. And you can either use it to escape and run away. But let's be honest, we want to keep running the killer. So once he realizes which way we went, wait for him to mind game us, see which way he's going to push us. He pushes us that way and he's running around. Run right back to the freezer and do the exact same thing again. See which way he's going. Say so he's still pushing us this way. Come back here. Do it again. See he pushes us this way this time. Make sure he doesn't double back. You will be trying that as well. Then jump the freezer again. Now say the freezer window is blocked. Now we can have some fun over here. Now we can loop the big one. Wait for him to get a little bit close. Say he pushes us back this way. And we're running around. Then we run to the mind gameable pallet. Now we run in back and forth, right? I'm greeting this one because this is a good pallet to be able to greed. You can get killers swinging on this one, getting them striking out, right? And if you get them to greed and swing, a lot of times you might even be able to make it back to freezer if you've been looping it long enough and the window will be unlocked. And now we're back to square one, which the killers will be thrilled about. That's why you want to save this pallet. This of all the pallets on the map is the last one you want to throw. Because if this one is still standing up, Freezer is quite literally twice as strong. Because you can just run it back and forth. Even if he pushes you the other way, trying to win the mind games, right? And he doesn't double back. If he double back, you just run right in at the door. If he doesn't double back and he's just pushing you around, then we're back here. Running it again. And you can run both sides. This is not the most unsafe pallet to run. You can run over the pig head as well. Now, I will say the one very interesting thing about this particular unsafe pallet is if you were in solo queue you're risking a random teammate jumping down the hole just to drop right in front of you and get both of you downed i have had this happen fuck oh my god no this is extra bad ski this is gonna be oh! i'm on the wrong side yes okay it's definitely not tombstone <laughs> oh, what the fuck, dude? Are you kidding me? <laughs> but ideally, you're gonna want to wait, get the killer to greet it, and that's the perfect scenario. If you're, if you're, if the killer is pushing you this way, and the killer double backs, if he double backs there, that is the perfect scenario to get back to freezer. But that's what makes this corner so strong. You can run freezer by itself. You can run this tile by itself is pretty strong, unless it's a projectile killer or nurse. But nurse is strong against everything. Nurse isn't playing DBD. And then you can run this one by itself and annoy the killer without even throwing the pallet. And then if he really messes up and he doubles back, then you're running this way. Back to freezer. Chaining it back and forth. And knowing a secret like that can really be the difference between having a good time and having a bad time being tunneled. If you know a secret like how to run freezer back and forth, you can quite literally be getting tunneled and think it's funny, or even better, not even notice that you're getting tunneled. But this is why map knowledge is your strongest possible weapon in DBD, as killer or survivor, but more survivor. There's nothing more satisfying than being tunneled just because you loop the killer good. And trust me, 90% of looping is just knowing where the strong loops are and how to chain them to other strong loops. The whole point, basically, of these map guides is to be able to get people comfortable with that. 
people so comfortable in their own looping abilities that even when they're getting tunneled, not only do they not notice, but when they do notice, they think it's funny. That's the whole point of these looping guides. Because I swear to you, nothing will be funnier than getting hard tunneled from a killer for the sole reason of you were looping him too well. Then it's hilarious, and we can turn around our attitude as a community and start enjoying the tunnel because we know where it's coming from instead of the frustrating feeling of not being able to loop around the killer and then still being tunneled because we were the weak link. Trust me, nobody likes to be tunneled because they're the weak link and because they're playing poorly. That's when it's not fun. But if we have the map knowledge and we can loop the killer really hard, getting tunneled is the best part of playing in solo queue because you can take all the chase and then move on to the next one. Dang. I was hoping you wouldn't do it this way. That's fine. So I'll run it back this way. Run it back, run it back. Mm, greet it. Mm, yes. That was interesting. Oh shit! <laughs> Thanks for follow fish nips. Oh shit. I do appreciate it. Oh fuck. I agree to it one more time. Yes, I do. I'm not gonna throw it down though. Can I get one more? I don't even make a whole run because of fucking bloodlust. <laughs> oh my god, the bloodlust. <laughs> he whipped again. <laughs> Holy shit. This is almost the whole inning. By ourselves. Dang. I was hoping that would work. This is gonna block because it's a fucking third vault in one chase. No, it's not. Is there some rule? Let's do this again. I love Freezer. Freezer is fucking hilarious. Can I make this again? I think so. Haha. <laughs> I think this is the strongest spot on the whole map. Can I make it one last time? Or is this a mistake? I think I make it. Yes! <laughs> I have to be kind of creative making it back though. This is not the way I should be running. No, he got me! No, he didn't. How do you do that? Why do you let me get back here? Is this guy gonna use his power at all? <laughs> I guess not. There we go. Oh god, he got me. Let's see whiffs here. Oh my god! Yeah, Here we go.
<laughs> Got like no distance there. Will I make it back? I will. I don't know if I make it back to Freezer though. Yes! I don't think that gets me anywhere, though. <laughs> this is the first killer in the middle of the having a plane to the front. He has no end. Ah! <laughs> he gains so much distance. <laughs> Now let's go to the freezer. The freeze of Ur. <laughs> oh shit. He had fucking boozle. Mind game this for a bit. Yay! <laughs> he has the boozle though. Oh, no, I don't usually do customs. To Mate, I kind of just like doing matchmaking. No! Sucker. Got you again.
There it is. Let's go. GG though. Freezer OP. Probably chased me though, yeah. I stopped him from doing his duty. Can he curve though? That is the question. Did I make it this time? I do. Damn, that was a slow vault. But I wasn't in chase though, so I think I can go it again and it won't block. I believe. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Holy shit. One second. I'm sorry. No, you went the wrong way, and now I'm on the wrong side. It's fine though. I have to greet this over and over. God damn it! Holy shit! They're miserable people. It's just that they're miserable. Misery likes company. You know. Can I make the freezer? I think I can, right? I don't think I'll make it back though. No. Swing. Damn it. Oh, yeah. This is the main loop of uh, getting meat plant. It sucks that there's something this strong on a map that basically loops itself, but it is big sag. This is the one pallet you want to not ever throw down on this map because connecting it to freezer is way too strong. No! I can see you. Mm, yes. <laughs> it's too far. I threw down god pallets there, unfortunately, but we get away with it. He had a wiggle. God damn it. I ran this wrong. Need more Noah users, I swear. Please don't turn around. Yay. I ran around the thing. I didn't run it the way I like to normally run it. Doctor, doctor, give me the view. 
I don't think I can make it back to freezer that time. Ah! I think I can this time though. Yes! Oh fuck. Yay! I love Freezer. I'm gonna greed this, I don't wanna hit. Yes! Then run back to Freezer. Because it's good as freak. On the small side, and then try to greet it at least once. Hopefully, I'll stay here. <laughs> We got the jump start. Good shit. That's not what I expected him to do. I'm gonna try to greed this pallet a few times. Bloodlust, you might get me here. I'm gonna greed it though. Yay! Look at me here, though. Good shit. Dang it. He's gonna get the hit before he can even get to the pallet. Alright, so I think that's the top mid, that's the bottom mid, and now we're going to move on to the corners. But before we do, I know I am always saying greed all the pallets all the time until you're on death hook. There are scenarios where if you're farther ahead in the match, or if you will cause too much pressure by going down, say another survivor is close to a particular pallet that you would like to save, might as well throw the pallet because you don't want two survivors down and getting hooked or you just camp the two survivors on the ground and cause way too much pressure. So there are scenarios where you can just throw pallets. And this would be the grade A map where if you were gonna throw a pallet and run to the next one, the killer will absolutely hate you for it, but it is very viable to just throw a pallet one to the next to the next. It is such a pallet rich map that it's honestly shocking how long of a chase you can get by not even mind gaming and just throwing down the pallets. But that's why I think it is most important to save until you're on death hook, because say now you're on death hook and getting tunneled and everybody was saving pallets for you, for them to be on death hook and you're the one being tunneled and you weren't throwing pallets. Now that's a scenario where we're saying the map basically loops itself and you won't even realize you're getting tunneled because you can literally be the only survivor hooked the entire game and you can let your brain go on auto drive, not even be thinking about it and just running from tile to tile, throwing them down because you're on death hook and you saved it and you're getting tunneled. Now it's time to throw the pallet. And I promise you that's when it's funny to get tunneled because there's nothing the killer can do, especially if they're an M1 killer on a map like this. But that's what we're saying. Once you're saving all the pallets and you can start chucking them, there's nothing the killer can really do. So save them until you're on death hook. <laughs> But it's more like DBD specific when... I have to go this way, huh? It's more DBD specific. That's why I think maybe Huntress has the highest skill ceiling when you specifically... It's a hitbox thing related specifically to DBD. Yay, I got a mind game to work and it was probably the wrong tile. 
that's fine. I looped tight enough. I actually want to loop it this way in case I can hole her. Damn it. I didn't get the hole to work. I didn't use the hole right. This is so boring playing like this, man. Fucking drop the pallet, run to the next one, drop the pallet, run to the next one. But I don't know what else I'm supposed to do here. Like, I feel like the only time I get use out of that is to know if a pallet has been used or not. You know what I mean? I would get serious use out of that, though. Because you're like, I'm not going to go there. Because, obviously. I'm actually going to run to this one. Damn it. I'm gonna have to pre-drop this. Cause I, this is too big of a loop, I wasn't gonna be able to make it around and back. Ooh, let's go this way. Oh, freezer pallets down. But this is my only choice here now. I won't make it to freezer though. But she has to, did she just de uh, what's it called? Good shit. The sad thing is freezer door is already down. Actually, let's go fuck around over here. I had to drop that. I didn't want to, but I wasn't going to make it again. That's not one that you can greet exactly. I'm just wasting all the ballots. Oh, fucking A. There goes another. <laughs> in review of this map the corners will pretty much always stay the same this is a good hint for survivor in general not just for this map but say you're looping the killer here and there's a pallet here and you take a hit you really want to hold forward hold forward as long as you can wait for the killer to catch up to you and whatever tile you end up when the killer finally catches up to you, that's the tile you really want to start looping. This tile wouldn't be the best example in this scenario, but just like a regular hint of like holding forward. So let's actually say that you were looping this one. A good hint for survivors would it be if you're either going to take a hit and you're already in loop and you get hit, use the sprint burst and hold forward as long as you can. One thing you don't want to be doing if you get hit is either throw a pallet in general but you don't want to be getting hit and then throwing a pallet to cause bigger distance between you and the killer. You will get greater distance when you take a hit by just holding forward and maximizing as much sprint burst as you can. The same goes for windows. Once you get hit maximizing that sprint burst, you're going to want to be holding forward as long as you can. Because you don't want to stop here and start looping this just because you see this tile here. Right? Because if I got hit all the way back there, I probably would have been able to hold forward and get all the way here if there was a pallet here. Now, if there was no pallet here like there is, then you want to stop there. But even then, I probably would have had enough distance to come to maybe this tile and start looping. And that's just a good hint for Survivor in general. If you see the killer coming and you get your proper head start, don't just stop and try to loop. Hold forward. Use as little skill as possible. Get as far as you can. And then once the killer catches up, then start looping that tile. And then try not to throw any pallets while you're healthy, because there's no need to, really. 
And definitely try not to throw any pallets if you think you're going to get hit. Same with jumping a window. Don't jump the window unless you know for sure you can jump the window and not get hit. Otherwise, juke it. Now, that being said, it does work specifically well for this map because if you know where the proper corner is, looking for these tiles and you get hit almost anywhere on the upper floor and you get hit if you know which corner this is you will be able to make it to the window like i said be watch out for huntresses but that is another thing about this map try to make sure if there's a generator here to get this one and that one done because that way from all angles you'll be able to make it to the promised land same with down low you want to make sure that you have these walls open both help a lot to be able to get away but specifically you want this wall open because if it's not, the strongest loop in the game cannot be chained together and forming the strongest loop in the game. Other than that, the downstairs is good against killers like Blight or Nurse. Nurse, nothing's good on this map, but Nurse, at least you can break line of sight by using the downstairs more than the upstairs. The upstairs is better for Delbex if you're far away because it'll it's harder for her to blink shorter after holding it up because it will force her down low. But I'll be honest, if you're playing against Nurse, you're probably going to have a bad time on this map. And the very last thing... Of the two entrances, this is the entrance you can use throughout the game. This is a very bad pallet to try to save for making it out anyway, because Killer can just go around. And the other entrance is a good one, especially if you have help, to be able to make it out, even if you greet it. The other entrance, this is the pallet you don't want to be running whatsoever until the end of the game, because it is not good by itself unless you're being chased this way. And the door is open, and you can either throw the pallet, or even funnier, greet it, make the killer go around, and make it out. I will say, just because I haven't addressed this yet, there is a window right here, although I've never gotten value out of it. Because a lot of times the killers don't even know this window is here. And they'll just, like, hard chase you and hit you before you, that you can even get any funny mind games. And even if they didn't, when you jump down, they could just double back, and you're screwed because they're on the up part of it. So I'm not really sure how to get value out of this window. I never personally have. It's not big enough for you to get the running vault, so I'm not really sure why it exists. But I feel like I should have addressed that window. Thing about him in real life, either. I don't know anything about a lot of people though. I don't ever hear any anything unless they're like are a huge criminal. Like R. Kelly, you know what I mean? I'm like, boo, can't ever listen to I believe I won't fly again. Which is big sad. I don't know what that was. That was a very interesting play. No! no. <laughs> I wanted it. Oh, fuck. Yay! Yeah, let's go down here. Nobody ever loops down here. This shit is hilarious. Oh fuck, he did it right. No, fucked! Oh yes! I probably could have actually kept running that, I'm not gonna lie. No, the door is closed! I'm budged. That was strange. Yes! Yes! Jonah. That was funny, Jonah. Oh, nice. I didn't even realize you could do that against Dredge. That's fucking awesome. Yes! 
Yes. There was no pallet there. That's hilarious. Damn it. Oh, it worked though. Oh, there's no. <laughs> oh my god, I'm lucky as fuck. See, this is like very fortunate here. Damn it. I tried to greet it. It didn't work. No pallet here. I do. I do ski. There's only two of us left, I could take me. And I'm on death hook, I forgot. I'm on death hook. He didn't even get me. Oh, I thought he was gonna get me. I'm not gonna make the window though. Ah! Run it wide. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. Oh, I fucking made it. Ow, oh, how did I make this? Oh no, I fucked everything up. No, oh, I wanted him to swing there. I don't know why he didn't swing, but I'm happy about it. No, here's where I go down. From ballot to ballot. <laughs> Fucking pallets are there on this map. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was funny, but that's hilarious. <laughs> that was lucky. She still blinked. <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny to me. That's the type of shit I do too. I'm like, no, I'm not gonna do normal M1. <laughs> it's boring. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. No! The nurse didn't even mean to hit her. Oh my god, how the fuck? I mean, skill. It's because I'm skill. run upstairs. Don't ever do this. She can't see me, but she can still hear me. <laughs> no! This is terrible. That shadow step, that would have been hilarious. Oh, she's right there! <laughs> what? 
<laughs> oh, good shit. So fucking close, oh my god! Ah! No, I turned back! Should have turned back. Oh, I'm so lucky. I should be down one hundred fifty percent. Oh god. Oh, boo. No! <laughs> Interesting. I have this exact skin when I play Hag. <clears throat> I love this skin. Dang. I wish they would have swung. <laughs> All right, here we go. The all M1 hag. That would be literally the best thing I could ever want. Good job, hag. Here we go. <laughs> Literally, anyway, she tried to put a <laughs> thing down. Where's the other trap at? It's around here somewhere. <laughs> nope, shouldn't have pushed me that way. <laughs> Wrong. There is a right way to do this egg. No, nope. shouldn't have put me that way either. There you go, but you let me pass. <laughs> oh god, she got me. I fucked up. Is she fucked up? <laughs> Oh fuck, I'm gonna have to pre-drop that if I make it. I think I do make it because it's 110. Comp strats! <laughs> oh my 
be lucky to get that show. At the same time, like... Dang. I was hoping he would respect it more. <laughs> I tried to call his bluff. And then, like, work my way downstairs, but that is not what happened. <laughs> I fucking love doing that. I'm not even gonna make it again though. Yes, I did! <laughs> oh my god, dude. That's like my favorite thing to do to killers now when you camp the pallet and then run away. <laughs> this shit is so much fun. I will actually have to throw that though. Hmm. I have to get to that god pallet and then throw it. Yes! We made it to freezer! I'm fucking glad I threw that one pallet then. No, it didn't work. You're like, God damn it. But hell yeah, I need to play a lot more killer because I need to get world number two Nemi. And like, we've been talking about this a lot too because I, I, there's a few killers I want to learn. Oni is the next killer I want to learn. It's going to be embarrassing though. You better be ready for some cringe Oni gameplay. But that's why I like having my... Oh, fucking A. You know what? Bamboozle's a great perk on Trickster and I just saw that. I just saw why. I like never see tricksters using it, but I almost never see tricksters anyway, I'll be fair. Does he come this way? No, he didn't. I didn't think he was going to, but. Oh, he is still here. What the fuck? Come on, man. Oh my goodness. Yeah, let's go back here. It's not looping tight enough. I actually see a lot of people playing killer a lot not looping tight enough. Like, almost more often than survivors. But that's actually why I like playing survivor too, because this is a constant game. Technically, I'm not looping this tight enough. You know what I mean? You can always loop tighter. It's like one of those cool things. Hmm. Did I loop long enough? Hmm. It's over that way. Help me. Thank you, Michaela. I appreciate it. You're fucking amazing for being right there. No, I'm not gonna fucking make it. No. No. No, I make it nowhere. Ah! Uh -huh.
<laughs> Guess not. At least he had fun with it. He could have gotten an easy hit on me. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Please jump that right away. Thank you. Yes! Here we go. This is the best tile against Wesker. <laughs> If he uses power, actually, is a terrible tile against Wesker, I think. I'd be able to dip in that one thing, but then I'd be literally fucking stuck in a corner. <laughs> no, I lied. It is good against Wesker. Haha! <laughs> Me like a dat. He's still chasing a little. <laughs> Good shit. Almost. You almost got me. Oh no, it's closed. Oh yeah. Let's go. Dang, this door is closed too. That's really sad. Someone's gonna get forward. I'm gonna get forward here. No, I'm not. Ha <laughs> ha. No! Yes! I'm throwing a lot of good pallets here, unfortunately. No, they double backed. No, I don't have a pallet here either. I think they get me. I greeted it. No. <laughs> I tried to use the freaking. Because obviously they're using some top of the line fucking cameras when they're doing it, but 
I feel like it's working differently since it's not like on national TV or or how they do it, you know. It just seemed like a little bit more unnatural looking to me at least. <laughs> I should have looped it again, but that was funny. Damn it. <laughs> My god. He's gonna hit me with the bottle and I'll go down. The pallet over there is already down. The pallet over there is already down. I mean, we've been playing for a while. I think all the pallets are down, actually. Yay! They're all down. I die here. No, I don't. Somehow I made the freezer. That was weird. All right, freezer, come through. That's why I like Freezer. It helped that that one door was there so you couldn't see my scratch marks. <laughs> oh god, I keep forgetting that that's down. God damn it. Do I have a pallet here? No, it's not even a place that a pallet would spawn. Whoa! No, I should have jumped it. I would have actually made that. Interesting that I'm running this tile this early. I will say that. I wonder if I would have not thrown that. What would have happened? That was a big boy swing, huh? I'm not gonna throw it. No, I'm not gonna throw it. I'm not gonna throw it this time. Thing. Mm. 
This is bad. Bruh. Feels like I was around to corner. No, dude. Uh, this fucking door closed. I love this tile over here. Yay! I probably could have gotten another loop off of that, but... Damn it! I don't think I'll make it. Oh no! I really hope this guide helped, and maybe next time you get tunneled in your running freezer, you'll be giggling at the killer too. <laughs>